Hey everybody, I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and I'm continuing the Madison Collection videos. This is the third video and we're going to talk about this Copley bag from the Madison line. It is style number 4414 and here is a picture um, along with the Gracie bag from a catalog photo. We went over the Gracie bag. Um, and this color, I believe, is maple. Uh, interesting, I mean, I don't think the Madison line was made for very long. I cannot give you the for sure dates at this moment in time. Maybe my further research will lead me to have like an educated guess, but right now I'm not gonna uh, give you that guess because I don't have it officialized yet. But um, it wasn't made for long. The colors were very unique to the line, but there are so many different colors in the Madison line. It's crazy. I think this one is maple though, a maple brown. And that kind of like gives off that like Brit British tan vibe, right? So let's talk about her. So she's a top handle. She kind of looks like a briefcase, but she's not really a briefcase. They actually have some briefcases in the Madison line, bags that would be larger. Um, so she's really in between like, she's just like a large handbag that can be utilized as a briefcase because of her size. Cause she would fit probably some con uh, laptops, not all, but uh, definitely would fit modern day laptops, which tend to be smaller anyway. So, um, but yeah, she's got these sides, which are almost like gusseted, like this pocket ends up being like the, just this one large gusseted pocket. She's got feet on the bottom. I think probably most of the Madison bags do, if not all. Here's the Gracie next to her. I try to post, I don't think I did as good of a job. I try to post like a little photo um, of a recreation of that catalog photo I just showed you in the Vintage Coach Eye Candy group on Facebook. That one didn't work out as well, um, but that's okay. I'm gonna keep on trying. Um, I just didn't think visually it was as nice as I would have liked it to have been. But this bag has already sold, so I need to get it out. And I wanted to talk about it and I wanted to do that photo, but here they are together. Somebody had mentioned um, in the video uh, that I did on the Gracie, their question was, why do people call the Gracie a Biltmore? Because um, I, one of the questions I asked is why do people call this leather caviar leather? A lot of people answered me. They told me that it has to do with the Chanel caviar leather. Um, and really that's what it's referred to, which is like a, basically a, a leather that's hard, that's scratch resistant and hard to show wear. So uh, I would agree that that's definitely very similar to this. This is what it's um, made to be very scratch resistant. Um, stain resistant. I have a little care tag that we're going to go over and we'll talk about all of that. So that answered my question as to why people refer to this as caviar leather. Coach never did, but I get it. So anyways, back to this, people, uh, the uh, viewer said, why do people call this a Biltmore bag? And they don't call it a Biltmore bag, not to say nobody could, but there is actually a Biltmore Madison. I do not have one. I wish I did because I could show you in person the size comparison. But what the Biltmore bag, style number 4417 is, is it's this Gracie, just larger. And it's not huge. It's actually in between the um, these two sizes. So it's gonna be bigger than the Gracie, smaller than the Copley. Um, and I would say this bag is very similar, right, to those styles, but it, it has some major differences. The Biltmore is exactly like the Gracie, from the feet on the bottom, the type of feet on the bottom, to the, the top handle, to the pocket on the back, to how the strap um, buttons in here. Uh, everything about it is the same, it's just a little larger. So that's another one to keep your eyes open for. Um, it's a Biltmore, like a Gracie, but a little bit bigger. Okay, back to the Copley. So she's even bigger showed you some of those features already on the outside now let's take a look on her at her on the inside and this is where i think something that's just super classy comes into play and i don't think i necessarily have them pushed in all the way but look at she can obviously be carried as a top handle but these are her basically her d-rings um they they're under the flap these do come out more so that i guess they can increase crease in length and I don't know why somebody might want that you know what maybe if you're like stuffing it you need that extra length I'm not really sure but look at they come out 
I just thought when they did this that it would hide when you close it, but it really doesn't. So, yep, still kind of a really neat feature. And this is a strap. And look at their um, their hardware is just completely different for this line. This is a Madison uh, like lobster clasp. Very different. Still solid brass. These are similar to like the Sheridan line, the shape and whatnot right there, but all right, let's put her on. Something I love about pretty much all Vintage Coach straps is that they rotate. So you don't have to put them on exactly right. Like you can have it all twisted, but then you can untwist it after you snap it on. That's I think a really great feature, a quality feature in a bag because you know, if they don't rotate, then you have to make sure you're straightening out your strap before you do any of that. So, um, yeah, this is on its shortest length. So this strap could be worn longer. And this uh, top handle bag becomes a crossbody or shoulder bag. And here she is on. I am sorry. I'm not sure you can see that very well. I don't know if you hear the lawn mower. Mo lawn's being mowed right now. I'm doing this during the day. Oh, this is her crossbody. I actually really like this crossbody. And she is just super, super classy. Ooh, that is a classy looking bag. But yeah. There she is, Copley. Kind of like a briefcase, but not quite. It's a nice large uh, top handle satchel that converts to a crossbody. Okay, so one thing I was gonna talk to you about in this video is leather care. I know you guys want to hear about the leather care, and it is unique, because this leather is different. I've already mentioned, um, it's not the type of leather that's gonna rehab, but like rehab well, you're not gonna just bring it back to life. It's If it's lost its life, it's lost it. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out where to put that. But I have these little cards here, and here I'm gonna go ahead and post a picture so you can see. We're gonna talk, read what this um, little insert had said. It said, the Madison collection of handbags and accessories incorporates the quality and craftsmanship you've come to expect from Coach into a distinctive collection of sophisticated styles for those who appreciate refined elegance. Rich, deep colors in a finely textured full grain leather transition gracefully from day to evening. As with all of our products, every detail of the Madison collection has been carefully considered. Features include full length pockets, double turned edges for added strength. That's a big one for me, and that's a very quality thing to find in a bag or um, in uh, small luxury goods, that double turned edge. It really does add to the strength and durability of a piece. But um, fine calf skin um, and jacquard lining and signature brass hardware designed exclusively, exclusively for this collection. The fine calf skin is actually the lining that you see in some of their small luxury good items. Um, and we're gonna go over that because I have a small luxury good to show you here in just a moment. So let's flip it over and it says caring for your Madison accessory. This is what Coach said at the time when they sold these bags. So Coach used to recommend uh, putting shoe polish on their bags, which I didn't even realize. I'm gonna get into that too. That, that was actually fascinating to see. There was a year that they actually specifically recommend to polish your bag. So this was in the 70s, but fascinating. Um, they stopped doing that. Uh, but okay, so the Madison collection is water and stain resistant. To remove surface dirt, simply wipe with a clean damp cloth when necessary. Please note that Coach leather cleaner and moisturizer should not be used on the Madison collection. We recommend that you store your accessory in the flannel bag provided. I'm going to go a step further and say you should not actually use Coach leather um, cleaner and moisturizer on any of your leather bags. Uh, but yeah, 
Um, and then the flannel bag, I showed you that with the Gracie. I had one for the Gracie. There was a flannel bag that I came in. I only have one. I have a lot of Madison bags and I only have one. So it's gonna be, it's kind of a nice little feature to have if you do get a Madison bag that has the flannel bag. But you could also go ahead and buy a flannel bag to store your bag in if you would like to. And I do think that's a good recommendation. Um, so, <sighs> okay. How do I do leather care for these bags? Well, honestly, I just wash or would wipe um, bags down because typically they would just get dusty um, with that clean, uh, damp cloth, okay? And some people had recommended, they said, oh, but if you put a little bit of conditioner on, it really does help. My bags have typically come in pretty good condition, um, but I did have one that I thought, well, it might feel a little bit more dry than, um, than some of the other bags. So I thought, I'll give it a try. Um, and I, it's not like I saw a huge difference in it, but it didn't hurt. So something I do now for a lot of my bags is I will go ahead and wash or wipe them down with Apple Leather Care Conditioner. The conditioner is not hurting the bag. Um, it may provide a little bit more suppleness to it, but it's not hurting it. It doesn't do anything to hurt it. But let me tell you what will hurt a bag, okay? If you look at this, you know, that finely textured pebbled leather, what this is is it's a color with another color overlay. And it is pebbled, but there is another color on top, okay? Let's turn her right. Um, and that's what's giving you this like dimension in these bags. It's that other color on top. And if you wipe, or clean or scrub your uh, Madison leather too hard, you're gonna rub that color off, okay? I don't mean for you to be scared about it, um, but it will rub off. And that way, uh, that all is also something to think about with your small luxury goods. These are gonna get a lot more friction to them. Over time, that will rub off um, just from use, which doesn't ruin it but it does change the look of it and the dimension. And I'm gonna show you this actually, I don't think this piece was actually used, um, it had actually even the sales tag where the person had bought it from. I think this might've just happened from, I don't know, it could have been a sticker pulled it off. There's no stickiness to it. Could have just been friction from storage. But do you see how that dimension was worn off there? And it's also, you can show it here. This color is granite, by the way, which is like a brownish gray, really pretty, um, really beautiful color. And this is a Madison Organizer style number 4480, um, which is a great little piece. Again, it doesn't look like it was really ever used. I have even these 1997, this 1997 organizer in it. It's all of these little pieces, isn't that cool? And this is where that calfskin lining comes in. This leather is so soft. I just recently sold two other pieces um, of Madison SLGs, and they had this just like this beautiful soft lining. There's some indents from just this is just storage indents, but uh, yeah. So what I was going to show you, you don't need to be afraid, but yeah, you don't if you like say that you see like. A mark or something dirty on a bag because that can happen you can get something sticky just you're gonna need to go over it many times lightly and probably with a leather conditioner would be the best bet um, because uh, that uh, that repeat um, attacking the the mark or the stickiness or the same would be your best bet than trying to rub it aggressively because otherwise you're going to rub the color off and you might not want to do that so this is what i'm doing i'm just putting a little leather conditioner on it this one i have not actually conditioned yet this piece it's hard to like show you and um on the video but like all i can tell you is this feels a little bit more soft and soft supple than this one did it has kind of almost like a little dry feel to it. So that might be where people, they say, oh, leather conditioner really does work. And I can I can see what they're saying. When Coach first put these out, yeah, you don't, probably didn't need a leather conditioner, but they're still, they're over 20 years old. Time changes, you know, the recommended care for a leather product, right? So just because Coach said don't do it at the time, um, that doesn't mean that they don't need it eventually. 
so I am just, I gently, I'm cleaning basically any dirt, dirt, um, dust or grime off of it. And I'm not like super light with it. Do you see what I'm using? I recycle things. This is a, um, an old breast pad. Clean people. They get cleaned actually quite often. They're just leather care products now, but <laughs> this is how I actually use these because I had so many of them. I use these to um, condition bags as well. I put the conditioner on the bag and I rub it in this way. Kind of creates a little bit of a buffing as well, although I do buff with a horsehair brush. This is a horsehair brush. I do not buff these bags with a horsehair brush though. I have not found that necessary. So, but yeah, I am. Um, just kind of showing you here what I do. Don't know if this is necessary, but the leather on the inside, I'm definitely going to clean um, or wipe down at least. This leather is just so nice. Ah, the feel of it is just amazing. You know, over time, this hardware can put markings on the leather. It's as far, I was thinking if it was tarnishing, that's not really the case here. It's just indents. And I don't know that that's gonna come out. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure that I would put too much time and effort into getting that out. I don't think that's as important as maybe a different type of indent. But yep, so. When I do this, I make sure I get around the edges so I'm not leaving conditioner around the edges. Oh. oh, look at that. There's a little Made in Italy stamp on this one right here. Do you see that? Yeah. And that's what I do with my bags, basically. Um, now, I used to just wipe them, but if I'm gonna wipe them down, might as well use a little bit of a, a very gentle leather conditioner. And Apple leather conditioner is, it's not super thick. It's, um, it's just a lovely conditioner that I recommend. I don't use it for all bags because it's not the right thing for all bags. But in this case, I like to use it for the Madison collection bag. So I'll let this dry. Um, I've debated over what I'm going to do about this and I don't know that I'm going to do anything, honestly. Um, I've had thoughts about that. I could add that color back with like a paint. I'm not really big into painting things. Um, in this case, this is already a color printed on it, but, um, I think I'm actually going to leave it because I really don't think it hinders the usability of this and on close inspection is where you see it. And um, anyways, that's my thoughts. If you think, if you disagree, let me know. Uh, but yeah. So, so yeah, that's what I do. Just a little gentle moisturizing clean on this leather. Be careful not to add too much friction so you don't take any way of any color ring from that top pebble. But, uh, there you go. Madison Collection Leather Care, Madison Copley Bag, style number 4414. These are just, the leather is really high end. The construction of these bags is really high end. They're just, they're really phenomenal. So if you don't have one in your collection, I do recommend, yeah, looking for one. Just make sure it's not completely busted because it's not gonna rehab nicely. However, these bags, did hold up nicely. So that's a really wonderful feature about them, okay? Well, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked uh, this video. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more Vintage Coach Bag Talks. I have more uh, Madison collection bags to bring to you, so stay tuned. And if there's anything that you would like me to mention in those videos when talking about the Madison collection, then please reach out and let me know. Okay, thanks, bye-bye.